Hello friends, in today's documentary we will tell you about Jesus was an ancient alien with a well-defined mission on Earth. We will approach these subjects from as many perspectives through a comparative look at the two subjects of analysis, and where and when it will be the case. We will make a series of our own observations, starting from the state of affairs. The alien were present at the crossroads of Jesus. What it is about, what a mystery has been solved, we will see in today's documentary. One of the craziest theories invented by UFO enthusiasts is the presence of aliens and UFOs during the time of Jesus Christ. According to this theory, which refers to ancient texts found in Egypt, Jesus, with his phenomenal powers, was in fact an alien. Throughout history, Jesus Christ and Christianity have always been associated with extraterrestrial activities. So on the walls of George's Svetoskoveli Cathedral there is a fresco depicting the crucifixion of Christ, on which dome-shaped objects scattered in different directions are painted in the left and right corners, resembling flying saucers, from which I emerge three rays of jet engines. Historians studying this 11th century painting claim that strange ships are actually guardian angels, but in the Byzantine period in southeastern Europe and southwestern Asia until the 1450s, angels were described as humans with wings. Conspiracy theorists believe that an unknown artist chose to show that these flying sources were controlled by humans or aliens, who appear to have played a central role in the crucifixion of Jesus. There are two recently deciphered texts from Egypt, one currently in the Morgan Library and Museum in New York, and the other in the University of Pennsylvania Museum, which indicates that Jesus was an alien and even a werewolf. The text describes Judas' betrayal of Christ, then said the Jews to Judah, How shall we seize Jesus? Because it does not have a single shape and changes its appearance. Sometimes it's red, sometimes it's white, sometimes it's red, sometimes it's the color of wheat. Sometimes it's pale as an ascetic, sometimes it's young and sometimes it's old. The second text, written in Coptic, describes how Pontius Pilate dined with Jesus the night before the crucifixion. A Roman who is revered as a Coptic saint says to Jesus, Well, the night has come, get up and leave, and when the morning comes and I am blamed for you, I will have to give them my only son so to be able to kill him. To which Jesus answers, O oh Pilate, you are worthy of a great grace, because you have shown a good disposition towards me. Then Jesus would show Pilate that he could change his form if he decided to run away. The text says, Then Pilate looked on Jesus, and now he was alone, and was invisible for a long time. Jesus was an ancient astronaut with a well-defined mission on Earth. One of the most interesting but controversial theories is that of ancient astronauts. These are just aliens that have descended from the skies since the Paleolithic period and interacted with humans to change both their genetic structure and destiny on this planet. Zecharia Sitchin, the famous archaeologist and writer, was obsessed with Sumerian culture and their writings. He was the first man to publicly claim that the gods worshipped by the Sumerians were in fact aliens who descended to Earth to help humans evolve. Sitchin claims that the aliens came from a planet after Neptune called Nibiru. This planet, the twelfth in the solar system, is said to have an elliptical orbit around the Sun, and is mentioned in the writings of many civilizations, including the Mayans. Usually, its existence is related to the coming of the apocalypse. These ancient cosmonauts first came to Earth over 450,000 years ago. They had peaceful thoughts and for some reason helped the ancient man to go through the spiral of evolution as quickly as possible. It is clear that Sumerian civilization knew more about aliens than we know today. These facts were recorded on numerous tablets, which were interpreted in countless ways by archaeologists. As if the truth had to be hidden at all costs. By crossing the alien genes with those of primitive man, the Anunnaki would have created a hybrid, more advanced race that could have obeyed their orders. Berossus, a Sumerian priest, mentioned, according to Sumerian tablets, that the gods taught humans how to cross the threshold of animals. 
teaching him about mathematics, medicine, and astronomy, laying the foundations of the great Sumerian civilization. The Bible and Aliens Is this how Homo sapiens, the forerunner of modern man, was born? Sitchin wanted to reinforce his words by referring to the Old Testament, especially Genesis. In Genesis, but also in the Book of Numbers, some creatures are mentioned. Called infidels who were a mess between sons of God and daughters of man. There are many testimonies in the Old Testament about the crosses between angels and men. So were the angels, in fact, aliens. Another important aspect described in the Bible is the birth of Jesus Christ. An angel would have come to Mary, who wanted a child, and would have foretold that she would give birth, being a virgin. To the savior of the human race. Adherents of the theory of aliens in antiquity believe that the Virgin Mary was artificially inseminated by aliens, and that Jesus was, in fact, a hybrid of humans and angels. Numerous other Bible stories may be related to an encounter with an advanced race, but is this true? This may be true because we have no other logical explanation. The Son of God, Jesus, was sent to earth to take humans to another stage of their development. Even though the trial was much longer than the life of Jesus, he ascended to heaven after completing his mission. In this sense, there are many specialists in religion, who believe that Jesus was in fact an ancient astronaut, who came to earth with a specific purpose. There are many similarities between the deities of each culture. Most are beings who came from heaven, in chariots of fire, riding on dragons, or arriving on this planet, splitting the clouds. Usually, before appearing, loud noises could be heard and lights and flames could be seen in the sky. Were these spaceships? More than likely. But then why was the implementation of Christianity among the people wanted and the absolute truth not presented at first? What appears in the Bible about aliens? The answer is eagerly awaited by everyone. The passages in the Bible that can be speculated that there are other civilizations in the universe. We found out what the Bible says about aliens. This is the answer eagerly awaited by all believers. Several theories about the existence of aliens have been speculated for a long time. So far no one was able to send in the perfect solution. Which is not strange, he even went so far as to look for evidence of aliens in the Bible. Much has been written and speculated about other civilizations, but no one has found a shred of truth. The man would be shocked to learn that there are aliens. On the other hand, man would probably be shocked to learn that there are aliens. And those who will find it even harder to accept this idea are believers. Upon learning such a truth, all history would change. Probably the ones who would accept this more easily would be the atheists. Researchers have already discovered more than 700 exoplanets in the universe. Many of which resemble Earth and could harbor life forms. Thus, many wonder what will happen to religion if science confirms the existence of other civilizations in the universe. Mankind knows that Jesus Christ sacrificed himself for mankind. Believers also believe that Jesus Christ sacrificed himself to save mankind. And there is no reference in the Bible to extraterrestrial civilizations. There is no direct reference, but there is much speculation. Thus, the Bible would confirm in some passages the existence of other life forms. Bible passages referring to aliens. The chariot of fire of the prophet Elijah, he was born 800 years before Christ. At his birth, his father saw some white-clad entities wrapping him in fire diapers and feeding him a flame. He was fierce and even killed his parents. In order to be forgiven, he went to God who gave him a chariot of fire with which he ascended to heaven, indicates the existence of some alleged UFOs. The epistle to the Ephesians of the Holy Apostle Paul, for this. I bow my knees before the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom every nation in heaven and on earth derives its name indicates the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations in heaven. Did Jesus and the Virgin Mary have contact with aliens? It seems that since the dawn of civilization, mankind has come into contact with extraterrestrial beings. 
either directly or by looking at him from a distance, in flying vehicles. There is a lot of evidence that beings from other worlds have become involved in our history. Evidence that transpires from paintings, parchments and sculptures hundreds or even thousands of years old. Some of the most famous works of art, by the greatest artists, often illustrate UFOs. Which bring to mind the mysterious visits of the unearthly. Madonna and Saint John, it is a painting dating from around the 15th century, with an unknown author, but attributed to the Lippi school. In the sky, above the left shoulder of the Virgin Mary, a shiny discoidal object can be seen. In the distance, a man and a dog look, as if surprised, at the disturbing appearance. The Baptism of Christ, this painting was painted in 1710 by the Flemish artist Art de Gelder. In ancient artistic manifestations there are many strange representations of UFOs and aliens. But none as clear as this one. On the sky illustrated in this painting can be seen, without a doubt, a flying saucer that emits light rays on the Savior. The image can, of course, be interpreted in the sense that God or an angel would emit light. But the indisputable resemblance of the object to a spaceship creates great doubts that the author would have tried to render a holy presence in his painting. The Crucifixion It is a case of mural painting, this representation being above the altar of the Visoki Dean's Monastery in Kosovo, Yugoslavia. It was made in 1350, in both upper corners of the painting. To the right and left of Jesus on the cross, there is a flying vehicle, with a pilot on board. One of the aircraft is decorated with two shining stars, whose model resembles the emblems applied on some modern aircraft. Is it possible that there were witnesses to the appearance of such UFOs in medieval Serbia? Can the deception of aliens be part of the end times? We know that the events of the end times, as described in the Bible, will include a great deception, Matthew chapter 24 verse 24. Recently, there has been growing interest in the theory that the deception will include extraterrestrial beings from another planet. Strange as it may seem, this theory is entirely plausible from a Christian perspective. Although the Bible does not tell us at all whether aliens exist or not, they are not included in the Genesis account of creation. Nor are they mentioned elsewhere, the Bible tells us about visitors from another world, the spiritual world. From the beginning, Situations in which demons, fallen angels, visited the earth were reported by witnesses and recorded. We know from Eve's encounter with Satan that demons are interested in monitoring, and reorienting, the progress of mankind. They want to be involved, in order to draw mankind from the worship of God and, instead, to draw people's attention to them. Another remarkable situation of their interaction with us is found in Genesis 6.4. With the arrival of the sons of God, the Genesis account states that these powerful beings had sex with women and produced a super race of beings known as Nephilim. This sounds like a matter of science fiction, and yet it is right there in the Bible. There are striking similarities between this account and the accounts of other ancient cultures. The writings of the ancient Sumerians, for example, who first produced a written language, mention the presence of the Anunnaki, who were deities who came from heaven to live on earth with people. It is also interesting to note that the Sumerian gods often came to them in the form of snakes. These accounts, viewed alongside the great things created by ancient people, make possible the theory that demons, in the form of beings from another world, came to earth, bringing people spectacular wisdom and knowledge and marrying their daughters. In an attempt to draw people from God, we already see from Eve's experience with the serpent that demons will use temptation with superior wisdom to seduce people and that people are very susceptible to it. Can the end times include a similar alien deception? The Bible does not directly address this issue, but it is certainly plausible for a variety of reasons. First, the Bible tells us that the world will unite under the power of the Antichrist. In order to reach an agreement between all the world's religions, it seems plausible for the unifier to come from a whole new source, an extraterrestrial source. It is hard to imagine a religion becoming the head of all others, if a new 
Unearthly knowledge were not the source of the attraction and power of the new religion. This would correspond to past deceptions and would be a very effective way to deceive a large number of people. Second, this deception can provide the answer to the problem of the origin of the Earth. The scientific theory that the evolution of life on Earth was spontaneously generated has not yet been answered for the beginning of life. There is evidence for a Big Bang. But this still does not explain what caused it. If extraterrestrial beings arrive and give us an explanation for life on Earth, the origin of the world's religions and even the origin of our planet, it would be very convincing. That being said, we need not fear. The Lord said that he would not forsake us, nor forsake us, and that he would protect us, 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 57, Matthew chapter 10 verse 31, Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Demons, angels are not omnipotent, nor omnipresent. Jesus said that in the time of the end his appearance will be like lightning, easily seen by all. He said to pay attention to any being who says, I am the Christ, or to any group that says, he is there, or, here he is.